In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use an audio interface like the track rig with Prime to send all of your tracks out their own individual outputs. So I have a track rig connected to Prime. When you have an audio interface connected to Prime, in the top right corner, you'll see the outs button light up. This is how you'll know that you have an interface connected. I'm going to click the outs button, and this is going to turn on the output mapping. You'll notice that under each fader, now I have a selection of which output each track goes out of. So my click right now is going out of global. We'll talk about that in a minute. But if I want to change the output that this goes, this goes under, I'm just going to click on this, and I can change it to mono or stereo. So let's look at mono. My track rig has eight outputs on it. So under mono now, I can choose from eight different outputs of where I want my click to go. So it could be output six, or I could choose a stereo pair. Now I could go out of channel three and four. And you can do this for all of your individual track stems. So if I want my acoustic to go out mono channel seven, I can do that. And you can manually change all of those. Now, a really amazing feature that we introduced in Prime 7 is global audio routing. And this is to save you time so that you don't have to route all of your songs every single Sunday. What you can do is you can go to Prime Settings and click on Audio. And this is your global audio routing window. You can look at all the different track names and you can change whether they go out of mono or a stereo output. So let's say I know that my acoustics on every one of my songs, I always want them to go out channel two. And my bass, I always want to go out channel three. And you can do this for all of these tracks. Let's just say you want your click and cues to always be one. You want your drums to go out output four. You want your electrics to go out output five. Your um, hi-hats to go out four your, uh, let's look, your pad to go out six, your piano to go out seven. You can set all of these and they're gonna save forever. So once you've done it, these settings save forever. But now if I go to my songs and I go to audio routing here, and if I have global set, notice what happens. It uses channel six, which is what I set inside of the global settings. So let's go back to Cornerstone and I'll show you, I have all of these set to global and they've already been routed for me. My electrics are going out channel five. My pad is going out channel six. My piano is going out channel seven. And that's exactly what I decided in my global audio settings here. Now, this saves a ton of time because now when I go to different songs, I don't have to keep mapping them. As long as it's set to global, those mappings are already done for me. So that's how to choose individual outputs for your tracks or to use the global audio routing that's new in Prime 7.